Watch the image on your screen closely. We've got a quick question for you about these two squares. True or false, this top one here is a darker gray than the bottom one. Pretty obvious, right? Well, maybe not, because the answer is actually false. Believe it or not, they are exactly the same color. This man, experimental neuroscientist Bo Lotto, is going to show you why your brain is constantly being fooled by what it sees. What illusions tell us is that what we're trying to see is not the world as it is, but something else. We're actually generating perceptions of a world that's useful to see. And that useful perception doesn't actually have to correspond with what's actually there. OK, come on over. We're going to do a test. Bo is going to prove to you and a group of volunteers that the two squares are the same color gray. When you open your eyes, right, first time in the morning, say, do you think you see the world as it really is? I say yes. Yeah. Uh, you're seeing it. Oh, you're, you're seeing definitely. And believing. That depends if I'm wearing my glasses or not. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes? I yeah. think so. I mean, why not? <laughs> All right, well, look at this cube here. What if I told you that those two surfaces are exactly the same? Would you believe me? Yes. I wouldn't. OK, come on up. OK? Bo has attached a gray swatch to one of the surfaces to allow you and the volunteers to test this one out for yourselves. Take that dot and move that nice up here, right there. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I want to look again. <gasps> Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind's been blown. Are you also having trouble believing this one? Well, take a look at the illusion again. If you want, try holding up one of your hands and block this section of the image. If you're having trouble seeing it, we'll help you out. Crazy, right? Here's another illusion to show you how that works. Take a look at that basketball again. We're going to put it on the court and move it along a diagonal. Now we're going to add a shadow. It's still moving in the same way, right? OK, so what if we change the position of the shadow? Do you think we can trick your brain into seeing the ball's motion differently? like the ball is taking off now? Let's tweak the shadow one more time. What's the ball doing now? Looks like it's bouncing, right? In a world with a single light source, your brain has learned to trust shadows as a near foolproof way to know the behavior of objects in space. And in general, it's worked. Until now. Here's another illusion for you. Take a good look. Which table is thinner and longer? The one on the left or on the right? They are exactly the same. But these vertical lines appear to recede far into the background, tricking your brain into seeing them as longer than these horizontal lines. Let's start with this illusion. Stare at the X in the middle of the image. Do you see the green dot moving around in a circle? Now try to follow that green dot with your eyes. Nothing there, right? This illusion helps demonstrate how quickly your brain finds motion in your surroundings. Want to see how it does this? <laughs> 